In this video, we're going to be working through the enthalpy derivation. And this is an incredibly important derivation to be able to do if you are taking a thermodynamics course as an engineer, because if you can do this derivation, you will be able to answer quite many of the problems you're going to expect to find on these midterms and finals. And so the very first, the starting point of all of this is going to be the formula H equals U plus PV, where H is your enthalpy, damn it, enthalpy, U is your internal energy, and PV is pressure and volume. But this volume term here is something we call specific volume, which just means it's like cubic meters per mole or per kilogram. So the specific quantity refers to it's a quantity per uh, mass. And so um, what I would like to do at this point is go through the units in this PV term. So P has units of Pascals, which has units of Newtons per meter squared because uh, pressure is defined to be force per area. And volume, specific volume, has units of cubic meters per mole. And so if we multiply this out, what we'll find is that we get Newton meters per mole. And Newton meters, as we'll recall from physics, the definition of work, which is a force times distance, this has units of joules. And what we end up with is an overall equation for enthalpy telling us the number of joules, the amount of energy per mole of a substance. And so this is very important to understand from the get-go. And the next thing we're going to be looking at is the definition of this internal energy term. And so if I had a closed system, and I wanted to know the change in the internal energy of this closed system, du, this is defined to be dq plus dw. So if we have any heat flow into or out, and then any work done on the system is going to be defined as plus dw. And the sign here is very important. Depends on if work done on or by the system. And so in this case, because I've made it plus dw, what this means is that if we're doing work on our system, if I'm compressing a cylinder, for instance, this is considered increasing the internal energy of the system. What this also tells us is that if W is a negative quantity, if the change in work is negative, that means that work is being done by the system. If our cylinder is expanding in volume, this means that we are losing internal energy in our system. And so um, the sign that you use for these terms, you have to keep track of uh, when you're doing this stuff. And then if we also remember what the definition of work is, work is defined to be the integral of minus and then P dV. And this would be from some volume one to some volume two. And again, this negative sign is here for what I just said. And um, what we can say here is that dW will be equal to the pressure times dV. And so, uh, we also need to remember that minus sign, again, minus PDV. So we're going to take this DW term, we're going to pop it in there. We're going to get DU, the change in internal energy of our system, of our closed system, is equivalent to DQ minus PDV. The next thing we will do is add this PDV term to both sides of our equation, which will lead us to DQ is equal to du plus p dv. Now at this point in our derivation, if pressure is constant, then we can lump it into the differential for volume, the specific volume, and we will arrive at du plus d p v. And so what this term should remind you of remembering that our pressure is constant, so this only applies in isobaric uh, 
conditions is this is equivalent to this quantity right here is equal to d h so if we took the differential of our enthalpy at constant volume it is equal to the change in q and to elaborate q is the heat added or removed from our system so if q is a positive quantity what does that tell us it tells us that we're putting heat into our system therefore we're expecting uh, the internal energy and now if it's constant pressure our enthalpy to increase the next thing we're going to be doing is making an assumption that we're dealing with an idle gas so if gas is ideal then pv equals rt and again this v here is specific volume so it's essentially v over n um, but typically in a thermal class you're just going to call it v because you're always going to be working with specific volumes uh, in class and so if this is the case we've got this pv term here we've also got this pv term right here so we can substitute in and say that dh is equal to du the change in internal energy plus and then dpv which we have just defined or based on the fact if we're making the ideal gas assumption that it is equivalent to drt and your ideal gas constant by definition is constant so this is really just equal to dh equals du plus r dt the other thing we can say is that this du quantity is equal to cv times dt and uh, this is telling us that we've got this cv term times the change in temperature and what this allows us to say now is that dh is really cv times dt plus r times dt and we can pull out these constants or lump them together into this term cv plus r times quantity dt and what we get from this is dh is equal to cv plus r dt and i'll try to write better which we also know is equal to cp dt and so therefore these two terms must be the same so what this tells us is that cv plus r is equal to cp and so um and also to build on the definitions and elaborate slightly here this cv term by definition is the change in internal energy of your system with respect to temperature when we hold volume constant this is defined to be cv and the same can be said of the change of internal uh, energy with respect to temperature at constant pressure this is equal to and defined to be cp and so um, this is going to wrap things up for the key thermodynamic derivations and uh, you really should be able to do these on your own if you're taking a thermo class because i guarantee your professor will ask you them on a midterm or final so i hope you guys find this useful and thanks for watching